Our Parliament here in the UK has absolutely no honesty, integrity, nor transparency. An MP has to be literally caught red-handed up to no good before anything is done. And then when anything should be done, it's not done. All they do is apologise, say, I've made a big mistake, let's move on. I'm getting on with doing the job I was elected for. And justice just doesn't catch up with them. The authorities, the police, they do absolutely nothing. These people get away with things that us normal folk, working class people in Britain, would get bounced for by the judges, by the courts, and that's not right. So Boris Johnson and this Partygate nonsense, it's still dragging on because people want him gone and they want him sacked. And I understand why, because he's absolutely useless. He's useless because he is not a Conservative. He's no longer a Tory. If he ever was a Tory, that was a long, long time ago, but not anymore. There's nobody in the Conservative Party now that's any anything resembling Thatcherism or true Conservatism. And that's the reason I want him gone. <laughs> then again, they are lefties, and the reasons they want him gone are completely and utterly different. And he's also broken the law, and he's got a £50 fine for it, because uh, the Met Police investigated him, and they said that he broke his own lockdown rules, and he got punished for it. So I'm not sure if he's got a criminal record, but he's got a fine. And that's that. You know, it's the rank hypocrisy that gets me. He tells people to follow these rules which he put down, which he didn't follow himself. And all this time, while Partygate was being investigated, you had the opposition MPs, Labour MPs across the whole of Britain, uh, every other party actually, not just Labour, calling for him to resign because he was being investigated and he has been convicted. He's the first British Prime Minister to ever have been convicted of anything while in office. And leading the calls for Boris Johnson to resign was Keir Starmer, or Sir Keir Starmer, leader of the Labour Party. And he tweeted this, Honesty and decency matter. After months of denials, the Prime Minister is now under criminal investigations for breaking his own lockdown laws. He needs to do the right thing and resign. Which is fair enough. He's doing his job as opposition leader, opposing everything that the Tory government are doing. And, you know, because opposition, they get paid millions by the British taxpayer every year to be the opposition to oppose. And this is, and this is a fair enough comment by Keir Starmer. But the thing is, Keir Starmer is now being investigated for Beergate. We've had Boris Johnson and Partygate. We've now got Keir Starmer and Beergate, where he and his foul-mouthed fishwife uh, party deputy, I think she's still the Labour Party deputy, old Angela Rayner, they attended a house party with beer and pizzas. And the difference between Beergate and Partygate, Partygate was attended by people who kind of lived and worked under the same roof. Partygate was nothing like that. You had Keir Starmer, Angela Rayner, and other people who came from other locations to join in with this party, thus breaking lockdown rules. And he's been found out. Now I wonder, will Keir Starmer take his own advice here and do the decent thing and resign because the Met Police are now investigating him? Of course, he won't resign. He's in a cushy job. And the Tories have done really badly in the local elections yesterday. So should there be a general election soon, it is highly likely that Labour will win. Labour will win because of the uh, rise in the cost of living and the Tories' complete lack of doing anything about it. Saying that, if uh, Labour do get into power, Keir Starmer becomes Prime Minister, they're in Downing Street and they do manage to get the cost of living down. You can bet your ass council tax will soar. So Labour will give with one hand and take with the other, which is what governments do anyway. But Labour will spend, 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 and then have to borrow to pay for it. And they will borrow from us. They will make council tax just rise up really sharply in order to pay for their woke little projects, which is what they did under Gordon Brown and Tony Blair. So there we go. Watch this space. If Keir Starmer does resign, then that will put uh, Boris Johnson into an untenable position and he will have to resign, won't he, <laughs> to, to keep face. So you see, it's the rank hypocrisy of this whole business that gets me, really. I mean, they didn't have to put in such stringent lockdown rules because they didn't work. And it was really inevitable that either side was going to accuse the other of breaking them. That's what politics is like. It's mudslinging. But if there is a general election tomorrow after all this, then uh, the working man and woman, we've lost. You know, there's nobody out there 
better than Boris Johnson. The uh, the choice is absolutely it's frightening. If Johnson resigns, it's likely that Rishi Sunak will take over, and I don't want him to be prime minister. And if there's a general election, Labour will win, which means Keir Starmer becomes prime minister. So we're screwed. There is no Donald Trump type alternative to just fix this mess. We're all screwed. And uh, yeah, so there we go. That's our future for the time being. That's what I think. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And if you wish to support my channel, then by all means, you can buy me a beer. The link is down below. And that's that. So until my next video, please comment, share, subscribe and Roger Trout.